Hi guys, it's another exciting day for QGS lovers. QGS 3.16 Hanover has been released. In this video, we'll learn how to download and install it on Windows computer. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so so that you can get a notification when I upload my next video. If you're new to my channel, you can follow all my useful GIS tips and tricks from the links in the descriptions below. Let's get started. So we are going to go directly to installation of QGIS. So where do we download QGIS 3.16? We'll go to and open our browser. In this case, I'm using Google Chrome and I'm going to just search for QGIS. Then hit enter. And then I'll go to QGIS.org and select welcome to QGIS project, which is their official website. Then you can see there is a QGIS 3.16, which has just been updated. And you can see here, uh, when I scroll here, QGS 3.16 Hanover has just been released. So we're going to download the QGS 3.16. So I'm going to scroll down and then click on Upload Now. Then we are going to scroll down now with the new window that appears. And you can see there is a 32-bit and 64-bit. If you want to ascertain if your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit, you can come to the Search button here and type DXDIG. Then hit enter and a pop-up window will appear with all the information of your computer so you can see mine is 64-bit so i'm going to download the one for 64-bit so i am going to select the qgs standalone installer version uh, 3.16 then it will prompt me to download the 64-bit so i'm going to start downloading the 64-bit which is uh, 395 MB and it will take some time so I'm going to just forward, fast forward this video so that we go to the installation step Our download is complete, so let's open the folder to access our download. Now we'll right click on our download to start the installation. So we're going to right click on our download. And then you're going to run it, run it as an administrator. We'll say yes. Our installation starts. So we're going to click on next to start the installation and I agree. Then you're just uh, saving it in the program file. So next, then install and we let it run. And this will take a little bit of a while. So I'm, we're just going to uh, fast forward this video so that we can now open our installed QGIS 3.16.
So we'll click finish to uh, close the wizard and uh, go to our desktop where we will find a folder called KGIS 3.16 on our desktop. We're going to open the folder and uh, this is where you have all your shortcuts for the QGIS 3.16 and we are going to be working with the QGIS desktop 3.16 so you can actually bring this uh, shortcut to your desktop or you can just open it directly from here. I'll bring it to the desktop by right clicking on it and sending it to the desktop as a shortcut. And now I have the shortcut of QGIS 3.16 in my desktop. So I'm just going to double click on the shortcut to now open QGIS for the first time uh, on my computer. That's it, QGIS 3.16 has been installed on our computer. If you found this video useful and you want to learn more on QGIS, subscribe to my channel. You can also follow all my other lessons in this channel. Stay tuned for my next video.